Hey everybody, I'm going to be showing you the new Winrock trailers I've been working on. This is a four-seater tandem axle trailer. It's got two 2,200-pound axles, both are equipped with electric brakes. It's got a GVWR of 3,500 pounds, and it weighs just over 700 pounds. Now, with the Razor Turbo XP1000 four-seater, the height of the trailer loaded with the machine comes in around 82 inches. I just wanted to point out real quick uh, that this specific machine had a modified roof and that it dropped the height a couple of inches. Not everyone's machine is going to fit under seven feet, but it really depends on your machine and taking a tape measure to it. Uh, everyone's machine is usually a little bit different. This trailer just makes it as accessible as possible. So uh, if you do end up putting a modified roof on it or you do have a modified side-by-side, -side, uh, that way it's just kind of easier to get it under your roof. Uh, usually anything, if you have an eight foot garage door and you're trying to fit your machine in, uh, typically it will work, it's going to work. Uh, usually, I don't think there's really a machine out there yet that's going to be higher than eight feet with this specific trailer. Uh, but yeah, it was just a little information there. That's shorter than a seven foot garage door. So you've got about two inches of height and it's just enough to clear a seven, seven foot garage door and you won't have any problems with that. So being able to store it in your garage, a big key factor when you're coming home from the trails. Now with your machine loaded, it's gonna drop a few inches from the deck. So the deck is normally about 13 to 13 and a half inches. It's about an inch shorter than our previous trailers. But this one, with the midsection, it's about 11 and a half inches. The front's 11 inches, and the rear is also 11 inches all the way at the end. Uh, so when you're trying to fit into a garage door, I would go with 11 and a half just to be safe. So 11 and a half from the floor to the very top of the deck where your machine sits. And then from there, you can calculate how tall your machine is and then see if it can go under your garage door at home. Now for strapping. So typically you want wheel straps everywhere as possible. It's the best and the safest. Now you can get away with two wheel straps, preferably bonnets in the front and then two frame straps in the back. So in the front here, we have a hook in the middle here, and then we have two hooks back here, and then two hooks more but further back here. Uh, so don't mind this. This was just, I just strapped this on just to kind of show you guys how it goes. But this is a speed strap tire bonnet. Uh, it's probably the best uh, wheel strapping device out there there is. Uh, sometimes you get some that go straight over the wheel. Uh, but however, those are kind of finicky. I don't typically trust those, especially when you're in an accident. It's going to probably pop off there pretty easily, but this, it kind of encaps the entire tire into like a, it's like a bonnet, so it just protects the entire tire and uh, keeps it from going side to side, so. Now, of course, here we have two frame straps, like I said earlier. So we got one on this side and one on that corner. So typically, you just strap it straight to the frame with a regular strap. Uh, preferably, you don't have so much loose fitting, but then again, I just threw these on here just to kind of show you how it works. So. This is a good way to keep it secure. So those tire straps are gonna keep the front end secure while this is pushing away, keeping the back secured and on its, uh, on its deck. Now the wheels. These wheels are a 20.5 inch wheel. They're about eight inches wide and they're set on a 10 inch rim. Uh, they're load range C, so they both have about 1,100 pounds of max weight. So two 1,100 pounds on one single 2,200 pound axle that comes in just perfectly at 2,200 pounds. Uh, their PSI is 50. Just 50 PSI for max load at 1,100 pounds. Now for these lights, as you can see, they're pretty bright. They're, some would even argue they're brighter than my uh, back truck lights, surprisingly. Uh, but these are super high quality lights. They're super bright, so you won't have any trouble with people seeing you in the middle of the night. Uh, this license plate light here has also got some really bright LEDs. They're really nice. Uh, this little holder here is a plastic holder. We had a, we had a metal one before, uh, but sometimes they get rusty and they just break and 
all kinds of stuff like that. So this uh, rubber one's really nice. It's really flexible. So when you're driving over this ramp here, you won't have any problems with it breaking or messing up on you. Now with the addition of electric brakes, you're going to need a breakaway kit. So our breakaway kit is located right here, and our breakaway battery is located right here. Now, to disconnect the breakaway kit from the uh, tongue, all you have to do is pull this little connection right here, and you're pretty much good to go. But you got to remember, you got to pull this red pin and this red pin. So it's pretty simple. Just pull it, goes through. This is a 5 8 pin, so it's really thick and it's really durable. Uh, so we never had any problems with these. Uh, they work great, and you can easily just pull them both take the tongue out and remove the few extra feet. Now if you wanted to know how much the tongue removes, how much space it gives you, uh, the tongue is about 42 inches from the top bar here to the very tip of the tongue. Uh, now this jack, it's going to stick out a little bit, so it's about nine and a half, nine and three quarters. Uh, now so 42 minus 9 and 3 quarters or 9 and a half, it comes around 32.5 inches. So that's about 2 to 3 feet that you're saving in space. So when you pull in your garage, uh, you need as much space as possible. Say you're going to throw something in here like a, like a lawnmower right in front of here just to save that extra space. Uh, it really comes in handy. So uh, just, you know, remove the tongue and uh, you'll be good to go from there. Now for some basic information, the trailer is 78 inches wide and 166 and a half inches long and can accept any machine that is 172 inches long. So your Razor Pro R four-seater is going to fit on here perfectly. Uh, also your Can-Am four-seaters, they're going to fit perfectly. Uh, you can even go down to just the regular Turbo XP Polaris 1000. Uh, four-seater, it just works just fine. So pretty much it's built for every four-seater out there. So uh, if you have got a four-seater, you want the low profile, you want the dual axle, electric brakes, and the lightweight, this is the trailer for you. Now moving on to the two-seater trailer, it is also a tandem axle. It has a GVWR 3,500 pounds, same as our four-seater trailer. Uh, it uses the same axles, tires, and brake kit as our four-seater trailer, but there's a couple key differences, uh, just like how it weighs over 650 pounds. Its width is the same as the four-seater trailer at 78 inches wide, but its length is 142 inches long. It's a two-seater trailer, so we're trying to get all of the two-seater machines to fit on here. The Razor Pro R with 35-inch tires will go on here and fit like a glove. This trailer has a specific E-Track style deck. You can use these little clips or O-rings, whatever you got. You clip them in, super easy, anywhere you want. And from there, you can use your straps, strap your tires down. It's really simple and nice. Uh, we also have a few uh, frame straps kind of locations, similar to how the uh, four-seater trailer had their frame straps. We got two in the front up here and then two in the back. So if you don't have an e-track uh, little clip or a uh, tire bun or something like that you can always go back to strapping it by the frame now these ramps they're a little bit different than our previous ramps before we had a just standard chain uh, it was not wrapped and it would make a lot of rattly noise but now we have a shrink wrap type of chain that we've covered and it's still the same chain it's just in a shrink wrap so it's a lot more quiet and it doesn't rattle as you're going down the road uh, but simply, all you need to do, there's a little slot in here, and you just put the chain through and then put your ramp up against your tire. Uh, I'll show you that on the force here, but this is a good open look of kind of just how the ramp works. It'll just fold all the way down to the floor. And then once you load your machine on, all you do is pull it up, push it against the tire, and uh, put this little chain in. And from there, it's really strong. So I'll show you that on the force here. Now when you got your machine loaded and you're trying to get this ramp up, real simple, you just pull your ramp all the way against your tire, you put your chain through a little slot that's made in the ramp, and you just pull it all the way through, and then from there you give it a little pressure and then you lock your chain in. Uh, 
It's real simple, real nice. Uh, this is just to keep this ramp secured and against the thing so it won't fall off or fly off or anything like that. Uh, the ramp is welded on, so you don't have to worry about taking the ramp off and slide in like some other trailers. Uh, it stays on, stays like this. Uh, you can take it off. You just have to kind of grind this little tack down here on the uh, hinge. And from there, you can take it off to modify it or however you want to do it. Uh, but secure the ramp, that's all you do. Now, if you live in an HOA and you can't leave your trailer and your machine outside and you want to be able to bring it inside your garage and make it as compact as possible, or say you want something as light as an aluminum trailer that also provides those benefits, or you want something that is easy to maneuver, easy to pull in, say, a drive-through, or easy to jackknife, uh, this trailer is for you. These two trailers are available right now. You can call me at 423-799-0335. You can also check out our website at www.winrockusa.com. And from there, you can find all of our previous trailer models. I might not have these up by the time this video comes out, uh, but I'll try and get that worked out. Anyways, thanks for watching.